Friends, humans, Disney fans, lend me your ears. Today, it's all about Hollywood. The glitz, the glam, the fame, the lights, the giant toys, the first order, the hotel with the broken elevator. That's right, it's all about Hollywood Studios or MGM if you're a part of the it'll always be MGM to me crowd. What are my five favorite MGM, I mean Hollywood Studios attractions? Let's chat. we dive into my top five Hollywood Studios attractions, I first need to give two honorable mentions to rides that I have not yet ridden. First, Mickey and Minnie's Runaway Railway. My last trip to Disney was in late February and this attraction debuted on March 4th, so I just missed it. However, if you have gotten to experience this ride, consider yourself one of the lucky ones as the park shut down due to COVID-19 less than two weeks after it opened. My heart takes solace in knowing that many of you will be watching this in a time when Disney will have its gates open once again. Tell the guards to open up the gates, the gates, for the first time in forever. Sorry. <laughs> and that second honorable mention goes to Slinky Dog Dash. While I had every intention of riding Slinky Dog and even had a fast pass for it on our last trip, our youngest kiddo decided that would be a great time to get crippling stomach pains and ride a whole new attraction that he hadn't ridden before, an ambulance. So he and I both missed riding Slinky. That didn't stop the rest of the family though, who gladly rode it without us. Again, we're here, they're here, we're here, and they're here. <laughs> but we're not bitter. Yes, we are. <laughs> yeah, we are a little bit new. If you'd like to hear more about that adventure, you can click here and find out just what it's like when your kid gets sick at Disney. And now my top five favorite Hollywood Studios attractions. First, number five, Muppet Vision 3D. Now, I kind of made a big deal about opening day attractions in my Magic Kingdom top five video, which you can access right here. However, there are no opening day attractions at Hollywood Studios that are still open. However, this is the oldest attraction on this particular countdown. It's been around since 1991, just two years after Hollywood Studios opened and features three of my very favorite things, Muppets, 3D, and air conditioning. This show combines some live Muppet animatronics, but they're not animals, they're Muppets. Muppetatronics? Live Muppetatronics and a movie complete with all your favorite cheap 3D tricks. Things flying in your face, getting squirted with water and such. It's, it's good fun and a nice relaxing rest off your feet and out of the sun. Number four, Tower of Terror. What? It's number four? Yes, I know. Tower of Terror is a staple of Hollywood Studios. Since there is no more water tower and no more giant sorcerer hat, Tower of Terror has kind of taken over as the landmark identified with Hollywood Studios. And it's a great ride, but Hollywood Studios has really upped its game recently, bumping this classic down a couple of notches for me personally. Here's what it has going for it. Yes, there's the feeling that your stomach is coming up into your throat when you drop. And yes, there's the fact that it features a random drop sequence making every ride unique. But honestly, what I love most about this ride is the tremendous theming. There is incredible storytelling in this ride and the outstanding detail is the kind that has become synonymous with Disney magic. It probably also helps that I really love the Twilight Zone. And here's something really cool. It doesn't matter how often I ride this ride, I always get a little freaked out and nervous to ride it. The cast members add to the sense of dread with their wonderful execution of their characters as well. It's a shame that my kids refuse to ride it. Maybe someday, maybe. Number three, Millennium Falcon Smuggler's Run. Full disclosure here, it's actually not the ride that is my favorite thing about this attraction. It is the fact that right before you begin your mission for Hondo Anaka and procure that coveted coaxium, you are inside the Millennium Falcon. I am a Star Wars fan and I have been ever since I watched the original trilogy for the first time a long time ago in this galaxy. And to walk into the fastest hunk of junk in the galaxy, the one that made the Kessel Run in less than 12 parsecs, 
It's a total dream come true. And again here, it's the detailing that makes this experience worthwhile. There's just so much to appreciate in the Imagineer's hard work on this attraction. And then there's the ride itself. While fun and very immersive, I will say that it's hard to really just sit back and enjoy it when you've got so much to do related to your mission. I was a gunner, and I had to push the buttons to my left whenever they were lighting up. However, watching for the buttons to light up on your left is a little bit distracting when you're trying to see what's going on in front of you. But all in all, it's part of the experience, and it's definitely a must-ride at Hollywood Studios. Number two, Toy Story Mania. Who doesn't love an attraction where you get to try and beat your best friends and loved ones? I've definitely got a competitive streak, and hitting those high number targets is just the tops. And there is something oddly satisfying about pulling back on that little drawstring to shoot at the 3D images in front of you. This ride has really got it all. It's super fun to get whipped around in the seat. It's in 3D, it's a game, and it's Toy Story. Here again, we've got tremendous detail and theming, both in the queue for this ride and on the ride itself. When you feel as though you are in Andy's room with all of your favorite toys, your childhood dream will come true. And now that it's a part of Toy Story Land, it makes the experience all the more special. And now the moment you've all been waiting for and surely the moment you've predicted. That's right, my number one spot for Hollywood Studios attractions goes to Rise of the Resistance. Yes, I know, it's the new sensation that's gripped the Disney fan nation, and right now it's practically everyone's favorite Hollywood Studios ride, but it's for good reason. And I don't always like to be super mainstream, so trust me, if it wasn't really my favorite, I'd tell you. But it sincerely is. I was super intentional about not reading or hearing or seeing any spoilers for this attraction before I wrote it the first time. So if you have not been on Rise of the Resistance yet and you don't want to know any details, it may be best for you to go ahead and scrub through this part of the video, but be sure you make it to the end screen because that helps my YouTube analytics. <laughs> Thanks. It's almost wrong to even categorize Rise of the Resistance as an attraction because it's really more of an experience. After your boarding group has been called and you're done waiting in line, you are taken to a room where you hear a special mission from Rey and Finn. Then you are taken onto a Resistance ship, which is then hijacked by the First Order. Then you exit the ship only to find that you are in a completely different place. You've been captured by the First Order. You guys, at this point, my mind was blown. And that wasn't even really the ride yet. You are then placed in cells to be processed, but before the First Order is able to do that, you are rescued by the Resistance, who busts open the door and pulls you out to board your escape vehicles. Then the fun really begins. And I won't spoil the entire ride for you, but rest assured, you will feel like you are in a Star Wars movie, and it's an experience that you definitely should not miss when you are in Walt Disney World's Hollywood Studios. So that's it. Those are my top five Hollywood Studios attractions. But what are yours? What did I leave out that you just love to ride or do when you're at Hollywood Studios? Leave me your thoughts in the comments section below. And guys, you know the drill. If you enjoyed this video, please show me some love by giving it a like. And by all means, feel free to click that subscribe button and the bell right next to it so you don't miss out on any of the Disney fun. And be sure to check out my other top five videos. Until next time, this is Melanie saying, stay magical, my friends.